This is Dan Danner's banner bringing you the action here from the battle bus, essentially, as we have both of our squads getting ready to drop into their very first game of the week. Of course, we've got Siri and Beauty alongside Swell and Intrinsic. Beauty and Siri starting things off, dropping down. Let's let's see how these guys end up doing. Of course, we've got Siri and Beauty on the right with uh, Swell and Intrinsic. On the left. And of course, for those who do not know how this format works this time by we for this season, it is essentially a private server. These guys are all competing up against their other college teams in this this map. They have a private code, so they can actually do that without hopping into just like a random pub match like last time and and just farm for kills. So a nice little change there. However, both of our teams could possibly kill each other if they don't happen to notice. So between positioning and kills earned is how you earn points in this season. I know I'm pretty certain that they all accumulate throughout the season. Whoever has the most points in the end do win the season. Right now, I know Siri and Beauty are sitting on 24 points from last week's action. Meanwhile, Swell and Intrinsic, doing not too bad, but they got about nine points in their last one. So they're looking to catch up, but at the same time, I think Siri and Beauty must be in the top portion. However, we do not have a scoreboard to confirm or deny this as of yet. So both these teams just loading up, and for the most part, pretty quiet. Nobody really has any... Uh, any contestion with any of the equipments down below? See a lot of blue on the side of that is Siri. Swell's got himself a, I think it's an assault rifle on the, a blue assault rifle on the left hand side there. And where is that? Uh, the storm taking us today. It looks like it's taking us a little bit more towards the center of the map, right around, right on the lake there. So our guys are both going to have to get moving somewhat shortly. Got about two minutes, 20 seconds to get going. Just loading up on materials, loading up on equipment. Taking their time because, of course, this first the first time the storm moves in, it is rather lengthy. It does take a little bit, a pretty decent amount of time to actually get there. So as much as they do have to move, they can take their time a little bit. Of course, we see Swell and Intrinsic still at Dirty Docks, so at the very, very east points of the map. I believe uh, my okay. That, that's some extra treasure there for. Uh, or swell, so he's got grenades, assault rifle, SMG, and I think that is a rocket launcher off on the right hand side there. Meanwhile, on the side of Siri, he's pretty much all potioned up and ready to go. And lots of healing essentially. He's got a mini, got a two two larger potions, so good shape for him. And he's got even some more with this uh with his med kit. So either he's going to be just completely loaded on medical supplies or he's going to pass it over to his partner. And it looks like he is, in fact, going to do so. Yeah, so Siri and Beauty, they have so, or so many uh, healing supplies currently onto Siri that they're going to have to split this up a little bit. They're doing a good job of just completely loading up, and they've not had to encounter anybody as of yet, anyway. Pretty quiet start. I know this is relatively new to me, but we've got the some fishing coming out here for Siri. See what he can pull himself out. Get himself a sniper rifle, which is kind of cool. You know, just people drop in random loot in the water, I suppose. Get a fish. And definitely taking their time to get this one started here. I 
There we go. That's what Swell and Intrinsic needed. They did manage to find some additional shields, some additional potions. And getting some okay gear, at least. Getting some blues and greens, so not too bad overall. Syrian Beauty all loaded up ready for battle, essentially. Full shield, full health, and full of equipment as the storm just starts to come in. And we've we've got ourselves a boat here for Syrian Beauty. Hope traverse some of the distance. I did not expect, however, that you can go on the land with this. Looks like you're having a, you're having a little bit of fun with this one. It did not dawn on me that this rock or this boat was rocket propelled. So fun little fun little facts we're learning here. So now that the storm's starting to make its way in, players of course have to hustle their way into the center, avoid taking damage from the storm. The possibility of running into more players is definitely Definitely escalating. So on intrinsic, just passing this, they get a, getting a little bit of fishing and get themselves some some fishies. But this area does have a little bit of building already, so it's already been looted for the most part, more than likely. Definitely got to watch their back going through this area. Though they have almost made it into the storm safe zone, so taking good time, but just no confrontation. I believe we started this map with about 55 players, so already down to 44. Keep themselves alive. And because they're not forced into any confrontation, they're just loading up on all sorts of materials. I see Swell completely loaded with at least 300 and everything at this point, if not 600 for, uh, for wood. I can see the same for Siri. Because, of course, when it gets down to it, these guys got to build, and they got to build fast. They can't worry about how much materials they have. And going even more center into the map, not exactly in favor for any of the saints in terms of positioning. Definitely going to have to be forced, of course. Siri Beauty forced to go a little bit north, while Swell and Trinsic have to go towards the west to get back into the safe zone. We might have contact here. Swell and Trinsic do spot some people up on the high ground and try to passive it looks like in in this instance anyway of course never like aging with somebody who does have the high ground on you as long as you don't have a sniper rifle or anything just kind of bypassing them might be the play for now it looks like that's going to be the case. All is pretty quiet here. We might have some shots here, actually, for Syrian Beauty. Engagement happening. Starting to build up. Of course, the there's two of them over on the right-hand side, kind of stuck in a box. I'm not sure if they got themselves out of that. Beauty and Siri both on the high ground, though, at least. So do have full vision of that area as long as they're not behind the tree. A couple shots fired, but then... Seems like they're going to avoid it for now. Forty-two, so another two down currently in this game. Still pretty early phases. Both teams starting to get into player contested territory. We see Beauty and Siri in areas where uh, obviously other players have been as the buildings 
have been made. Storms on the move again. It looks like Swell and Intrinsic have made it into the safe zone, so they're already good to go. Siri and Beauty right there as well, so everybody in pretty good position. Not going to get too caught off guard from the storm. We might have ourselves a little bit of a confrontation here for Swell and Intrinsic. I think, I think across the lake there, saw some players building. Right in that little wasteland looking area in the middle of the lake. Okay, guy actually right in front of Swell. And here we go. The, the build battle starts to get going here. Swell going to be forced to kind of run away at this point. Not going to try and engage. I think Intrinsic's trying to do the same. Yeah, he's evacuating. Opt for the road. Oh, he's going to get a couple shots on. Takes about 60 damage or so off of that player's shield. Still spot him out, but okay, he's going to build a wall, keeping himself safe. But Swell just does manage to get that player out of the shield, but either of these guys deciding to build at all, just opting to like stand still and fire, but at least getting some of those uh, shots on point. And they got players essentially from all sides here. This could get a little bit scary. Somebody was building some stairs essentially right to the left of Swell. Right here at Salty Springs is apparently where all the action's about to throw down. It looks like it's going to get started here. Swell building himself a decent little fort to hide in temporarily. Intrinsic is right there alongside him. Just taking their time. They're in the safe zone for the next storm, so they'll be okay, even if they don't necessarily move at this point. But of course, one of the parts about this league is that you do get points for getting kills. Every elimination your team gets is a point. And in order to get points via placements, you have to at least get, I believe, 11th. 11th or 12th. A shot's fired. Swell getting the building, but not the player, unfortunately, this time. In the meantime, as this is happening, Siri and Beauty having a relatively quiet game. They were the ones who did pretty crazy last week, getting second and third place in their matches and a handful of kills to boot with that. It's still a tense situation here at Salty Springs. Swell and Drinsic both kind of stuck in their building, but I guess they don't necessarily have to move like I was mentioning earlier. No pressure from the storm at all, but you can see everybody else is kind of starting to build around them, so this could get nerve-wracking as a storm gets smaller and smaller. There's at least like three or four separate forts here, assumably full of players. We're down to 37 players in this match. Of course, Siri and Beauty still relatively quiet. These guys have farmed up an absolute storm, but I don't think they've gotten themselves any sort of engagements, any sort of kills as well in the meantime. That's fire, but keeping themselves safe as well. Another scary part about this, too, is that if uh, if Siri and Beauty happen to get in on this engagement, too, like they don't know if it's uh, Tolan Intrinsic, so they very well, of course, could open fire on their teammate without even realizing it. Okay, 36. One more player does go down in this map. And it looks like Swell's going to start moving, trying to expand himself a little bit closer 
to get possibly a airdrop here from the side. See if you can get that a little bit faster, but if they uh if enemy spots that that could leave himself as a sitting duck, trying to give himself the best fort to try and get some of those items, because he's got a lot of green still. Like that shotgun is uh, I guess a little eh, but overall not too bad, I suppose. Gonna bring this down, and sure enough, he's gonna be able to get this. And we've got ourselves a nice little assault rifle right there. Gold rifle gonna go over to intrinsic. Looks like now it's Siri and Beauty who are gonna start putting on the pressure as they move into the safe zone as it starts to move ever so slightly away from Salty Springs. Okay, some shots fired here. Swell finding a person. He took any numbers off just yet, but let's see if he can find himself a point on the board just via a kill. He's got some people building right below him. So with a couple players on the low ground, our St. Clair Saints are not in too bad position. They've got a little bit of the high ground in the area of the safe zone. They don't have to move. They have to. The opposing squads have to come to them, if anything, and have to kind of contest them in their patrol tower. And bit of a stalemate, I think, until the next uh, the next storm zone closes in. It's nobody else. Uh, Seems to want to to move at this point. Nobody making the move because they don't necessarily have to. Okay, possible shots fired here for Swell. Takes a pot shot, but no damage just yet. Tensions rising and everyone's getting a little bit antsy. We have another one going down, so we're down to 32 players in this match. As you guys can see here, on both sides, we've got just buildings surrounding the place. And now that the storm has moved, it's starting to get pretty small. And unfortunately, it is not in Syrian Beauties or Swollen Intrinsic's favor. They're going to have to move. And as the gunfire starts to come shower down, Syrian Beauty going to be the first ones to make the move. And Swollen Intrinsic pretty short to follow. Siri gets himself a, a building first. All surrounded metal, so not too bad. Nice little nice little safe haven just barely inside the safe zone. And it looks like Swole Intrinsic doing the exact same thing. And real shots fired actually for Beauty and Siri, and they're gonna be able to pick up the first one. See if they can find themselves a second here. Yeah, just about to be crunch time here between all the teams. Of course, when it starts to get so small like this, it's all about the build battles. Like, buildings four miles, and can you outplay your opponent? Okay, shots fired here for Siri. Possibly getting the angle onto one of the players, but not going to find it just yet. Again, try. Makes himself a window, shooting through, trying to put some pressure onto whoever's stuck in that wall. They're just going to keep on blowing through mats. Keep on building themselves a wall in front to soak up some bullets. Twenty-eight players now on the board, and we have a supply package dropping right on the far side for our Saints. Neither of them are going to be able to really contest that, but they could possibly use that as bait. For Swollen Intrinsic, actually, they do have somebody pretty much invading their fort at this point from below. A little bit of a scary position there for them. Shotguns drawn, ready to start trying the edit battle. Okay, so Intrinsic on the move. They're going to try and use somebody else's port as this thing gets a little bit smaller. Shots are fired upon them. Only shield damage done to swell, but Intrinsic taking a lot of heat at this point down to half HP. He's right in the thick of things. Going to keep trying to keep himself safe in the middle. Intrinsic barely alive does go down. 
and fortunately trying to move. But this build is going to have to try and keep them both alive. This is such a scary position for Swell, actually. They've tried to live for so long, and they've had no, no interactions, like no kills at all in this game. We're down to 25, but... Yeah, it looks like Intrinsic does go down. Meanwhile, Beauty and Siri also got themselves into a battle with some guys on the high ground. Oh, there we go. Siri's got one down. He does actually get the elimination, so it's another point for Siri and Beauty. He's got an absolute perfect field of vision to try and open fire on so many players right now. He is dead center in the storm. He's in perfect position. At the two kills so far. Lots of fire below them, but taking a quick second, pass around the pass around the medical supplies. Okay, so intrinsic unfortunately down in this one. So Swell is gonna be all by himself to try and get as many points in this situation. Siri and Beauty still both in this with pretty high health and or full health and almost full shield. We're down to 16 players in this one. I think we are just about at the point where you can start getting points for survival. Shots fired here for Siri, forced to evacuate temporarily, though. Them having the high ground is just, of course, so clutch. And I've been just ragging it on so far in this cast, but it's just so important. While Siri and Beauty take care of the high ground, it's been... Um, Swell just taking care of the low side of things, and he's actually got himself into an engagement here with somebody on the other side of this wall. Pressure getting relieved, but now we're back to Syrian Beauty are trying to build battle. Somebody's right underneath him, I believe, trying to get himself a kill here. Does find the shot, trying to chop him off at the knees, but I don't think any of those shots are hitting right now for Siri, unfortunately. There we go. Does find a quick... Quick angle, gets a little bit of damage on him. He's going to try and chase them down with, I think it's an SMG. And the storm closes in. This is where things get a little bit nutty. There we go, 18 damage taken down. He's trying to break through. He does find himself another kill. So that is three total right now for Siri. I'm not sure how many beauty he's managed to take down, but there we go. Swell also in the meantime, finds somebody in the low ground, takes care of that, gets himself some decent loot as well. So it looked a little rough for Swell, and I mean, he's not in the most amazing of positions, but at least he's got a, a kill under his belt. He's right in the storm, but oh, there's somebody right there. So he's going to manage to get him his team sixth, which is actually not bad in the slightest. I do believe you, it's positioning is by team position, not personal position. So that's actually way better than I expected. Oh, man, Siri just found two of them just charging through. That's going to be at least one. I think he got both of them, and then he's finally going to go down. I think he's in the storm currently. Someone else is actually right there alongside him. Beauty is still in this game, though. So we'll see momentarily. There we go. Well, now we got this sight line of Beauty, who still is holding this high ground, but he has absolutely no healing, and he's in the storm. So he's going to get second with... Uh... So Siri Beauty gets second. Swollen Intrinsic gets sixth.